this episode of Merrill Moments, I'm out following some tracks, the railroad tracks. National Rail Safety Week is coming up, and I had the chance to speak with Special Agent Russ Coleman'sberger, an officer with the CN Police Service, who's responsible for patrolling the railway in our area. So my name is Russ Coleman'sberger, and I'm a special agent with the CN Railroad Police. A lot of people have no idea the railroad has its own police department, but uh, living proof that we do exist. Our main mission is to make sure that everything gets from point A to point B as quickly and efficiently as possible. About every three hours, somebody gets hit by a train in the United States. And so our goal is to try and reduce those incidents through proactive enforcement, education, and engineering to try and prevent those incidents from occurring. What is your area of responsibility? Our focus is railroad property, and railroad property owned by the CN specifically. Making sure that we don't have trespassers walking up and down the tracks or crossing the tracks where they're not supposed to. Uh, crossing enforcement, people going around the gates, not stopping at the stop signs or stopping for the red flashing lights. What kind of issues do you see in Merrill that you uh, might take enforcement action on? So in Merrill, we see a lot of trespass issues. People walking across the tracks to get to uh, the walking path um, on their lunch break or in the evenings when they want to go out and get some exercise, which at its face value doesn't look like it's a big problem or a big issue. Um, but it is a safety concern for people walking across the tracks. You have trip hazards, the rocks uh, provide an opportunity for you to slip um, or have not very good footing. Um, trains cannot stop quickly. It takes a, a mile or more to bring a train to a stop. And that all depends on the size of the train and the amount of freight that it's hauling behind it. Because trains can't swerve, the only way you get hit by a train is to be on the tracks. So there's about a 12 foot block that a train will occupy, and if you're one foot over, you're not going to get hit by a train. Railroad police are commissioned in each state where they operate, and then there's a federal statute that allows us to take our authority from that state to other states where we have property. But in the state of Wisconsin, we are fully commissioned peace officers with the same authority as the deputy sheriff to make arrests, stop cars, give tickets. We have the same authority on or about railroad property as well. Railroad property is private property. A lot of people don't realize that, but it's actually owned by the railroads and it's just a dangerous place to be. This is an advanced warning sign that tells us there's railroad tracks up ahead and we need to slow down, look, and listen for a train. Some railroad crossings have a yield sign, some have a stop sign, some have just red flashing lights, and some have flashing lights along with a gate. Red flashing lights in all 50 states means that you have to stop. To have them on school buses, it means the exact same thing. So even if there are not gates at that location, you have to stop. Every public railroad crossing has this blue sign. It tells us that if the, you see a problem or an emergency at this location, that you can contact the railroad and let us know. If we don't know that there's a problem, we can't fix it. If the gates are down, the lights are flashing, no train in sight, find the sign and give us a call. Let us know there's a problem. Bridges and tunnels are no place to play either. You have less opportunity to run to safety and it is still trespassing so we don't want you on the bridges or in the tunnels. Railway safety seems like a pretty easy thing. Stay off the tracks, follow the signals at the crossings, and when you see tracks, think train. That's it for this episode, and as always, thanks for watching.